Hello everyone. First of all, I would like to thank you for dropping by here at Common Prayer Day by Day, your daily devotional, and to also ask you to subscribe and to click on the bell button alongside the subscribe button to receive notifications of when I post either a morning or an evening prayer. I'd also ask for one more favor, and that is to, for you to uh, share us on your social media. Who knows, you may have some friends of yours that may really enjoy this as well. And I would be pleased if they would be able to join us here. If you live on the Lower Mainland of BC, or if you're going to be in the Lower Mainland area in BC in any time in the future, and you feel like you would like to drop by here and visit us here at St. Peter and St. Paul on 7772 Graham Avenue, Burnaby, BC. Well, the services here on Sundays are at 10 o'clock in the morning. Normally a Eucharist service with some morning prayer services thrown in, thrown in during the year as well. Also on Sundays, we have a 7 p.m. service here, which is an evening prayer. And if you're here on the Lower Mainland and, or you live in the area, maybe you would like to drop by just to have a look, check us out, and I would encourage that. Again, our address is 7772 Graham Avenue, Burnaby, BC. I will thank you for joining us today. For, your, for the service that you're about to watch. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Okay? Bye for now. God bless. Open thou, O Lord, our mouths to praise thy holy name. Cleanse also our heart from all vain, evil, and wandering thoughts. Enlighten our understanding, enkindle our affections, that we may say this office with attention and devotion and so be meet to be heard in the presence of thy divine majesty. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Good morning, everyone. This morning's service is the service of morning prayer for Wednesday in Easter week. And our service begins on page 6 of the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord is risen indeed. Let us pray. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, and let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, O that you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in that day of temptation and of wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with that generation, and said, It is a people that do err their hearts. For they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The hymn chosen for this morning's service is hymn number 163. Hymn number 163. <clears throat> Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
The strife is o'er, the battle done. Now is the victor's triumph won. Oh, let the song of praise be sung. Alleluia. Death's mightiest parts have done their worst. And Jesus past his foes dispersed. Let shouts of praise and joy outburst. Alleluia. He closed the yawning gates of hell. The bars from heaven's high portals fell. Let songs of praise his triumph tell. Alleluia! On the third morn he rose again, glorious in majesty to reign. Oh, let us swell the joyful strain. Alleluia! Lord, by the stripes which wounded thee, from death's death stream, thy servants free, that we may live and sing to thee. Alleluia! Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Amen. Our psalms are appointed for this morning's service is Psalm number 42 and 43. Psalm 42 and 43 beginning on page 383, 383. Like as the heart desireth the water brooks, so long with my soul after thee, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, yea, even for the living God. When shall I come to appear before the presence of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while all day long they say unto me, Where is now thy God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul within me. How I went with the multitude and brought them forth into the house of God, With the voice of praise and thanksgiving, a multitude keeping holy day. Why art thou so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why art thou so disquieted within me? O put thy trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my confidence and my God. My soul is vexed within me, therefore will I remember thee. From the land of Jordan, from Hermon and the little hill. O deep calleth another, one deep calleth another, because of the noise of thy terror, terror torrents. All thy waves and thy billows are gone over me. The Lord will grant his loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night season will I sing of him and make my prayer unto the God of my life. I will say unto God, my rock, why hast thou Why hast thou forgotten me? 
Why go I so? Why go I thus heavily, while the enemy oppresseth me? My bones are smitten asunder, while mine enemies reproach me. While they say daily unto me, Where is now thy God? Why art thou so vexed, O my soul? And why art thou so disquieted within me? I will put thy trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks. Who is the help of my countenance and my God? Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Give sentence for me, O God, and defend me against my cause against an ungodly people. O deliver me from the deceitful and wicked man. For thou art the God of my strength, why hast thou put me from thee? And why go I so heavily while the enemy oppresseth me? O send that thy light with thy truth, that they may lead me. And bring me unto thy holy hill and to thy dwelling. And that I make one to the altar of God, even unto the God of my joy and gladness. And upon the harp will I give thanks unto thee, O God, my God. Why art thou so heavy, O my soul? And why art thou so disquieted within me? O put thy trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks. Who is the help of my confidence and my God? Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our first lesson is written in the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, beginning at the first verse. The Spirit of the God, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me to bring good tidings to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to grant to those who mourn in Zion, to give them garland in the stead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the panting of the Lord, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. They shall build up the ancient ruins, they shall rise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. Aliens shall stand and feed your flocks. Foreigners shall be your plowmen and vine dressers. But you shall be called a priest of the Lord. Men shall speak of you as the ministers of our God. You shall eat the wealth of the nations, and in their riches you shall glory. Instead of your shame, you shall have a double portion. Instead of dishonor, you shall rejoice in your lot. Therefore, in your land, you shall possess a double portion. Yours shall be everlasting joy. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrong. I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants shall be known among the nations, 
and their offspring in the midst of the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge them, that they are a people whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord, my soul shall exalt in my God, for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation, he has covered me with a robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. Here endeth the first lesson. Continuing now on the bottom of page 7 with the Deum, We praise thee, O God, we acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee, the goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee, the noble army of martyrs praise thee, the holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee, the Father of an infinite majesty, thine honorable, true and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ, thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, Thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God and the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. Our second lesson is written in the first epistle general of St. Peter, chapter 1, beginning at the 13th verse. Therefore, gird up your minds, be sober, set your hope fully upon the grace that is coming to you at the, re at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorances, but as he who called you is holy, be holy yourselves in all your conduct. Since it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. And if you invoke the Father, him who judges each one impartially according to his deeds, conduct yourselves with fear throughout the time of your exile. You know that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your fathers, not with perishable things such as silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot. He was destined before the foundation of the world but was made manifest at the end of the time for your sake. Though through him you have confidence in God who raised him from the dead and gave him glory so that your faith and hope are in God. Having purified your souls of your obedience to the truth for sincere love of the brethren, Love one another earnestly from the heart. You have been born anew, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and abiding word of God. 
for all flesh is like grass, and all that is glory, and all its glory like the flower of the grass. The grass withers and the flower falls, but the word of the Lord abides forever. So that that word is the good news which was preached to you. Here in the, the second lesson. Continuing on page nine with the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he swore to our forefather Abraham that he would grant us, that we being delivered of the hands of our enemies might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shall be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of Jesus. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of Jesus Christ, the Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and evermore mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O God, who makest us glad with the yearly remembrance of the resurrection from the dead of thy Son, Jesus Christ, grant that we who celebrate this Paschal Feast may die daily unto sin and live with him forevermore in the glory of his endless life. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth for eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, 
through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings be ordered by thy governance, that do always set us righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, the fountain of all goodness, we humbly beseech thee to bless our sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth, the parliaments of the commonwealth and all who are set in authority under her, that they may order all things in wisdom, righteousness, and peace, to the honor of thy holy name and the good of thy church and people. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and clergy and all congregations committed to their charge, the helpful spirit of thy grace, that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men, that thou wouldst be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, and thy saving health unto all nations. More especially we pray for the good estate of the Catholic Church, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in the unity of spirit, in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate that it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their suffering and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. This we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for us, for all the goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for thine inestimable love, in the redemption of the world for, by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts will be unfailingly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up of ourselves to, the, to thy service and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. <clears throat> Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time of one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and thus promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant the requests, Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. <clears throat>